welcome to another Mad Hatter review. What was that? Was that a wave? I don't even know what that was. We are taking a look at some more SDCC loot. It's already peeking its head out into the camera, so I may as well show it. The TMNT3 4-pack, okay? This is probably, I would say, the top three uh, uh, um, uh, things I was most excited to get my hands on at SDCC. I did also pre-order this uh, on the NECA site because... You know, one to, what is it? One to rock and one to stock, whatever you want to call that. So TMNT3, everybody's favorite movie, I would say, of all the three TMNT movies. <laughs> uh, no, obviously not. It's funny. It's like this movie gets bagged on and justifiably so. It's kind of goofy, but it's like these samurai turtles are so iconic that you, you got to have these. There's a reason people are getting excited about this. So, um, so as you know, or you may not know, all of the STCC four packs have come in this sort of like VHS, large VHS box. So now if you have the other two, you can kind of display them and uh, I guess you're like a badass, right? And uh, if you don't have them, I think that first set, I think that goes for a pretty, a pretty penny. But uh, this is just an awesome set on its own, cat sifting back there. And uh, yeah, so here is the side of the box right here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Here's the other side of the box, same thing. And here is the back of the box, and uh, there is a quote. They do it kind of like a movie review, uh, but uh, quote by the Yes Have Some podcast, okay? I know those peeps. Very, very good uh, 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 guys uh, and, and, and girl, okay? Uh, check them out. Yes Have Some uh, podcast. And they got this quote, Finally, NECA is giving TMNT collectors the figures they've been dreaming of. These time-traveling heroes in a half shell are ready to fight for space on your toy shelf, okay? Great quote right there. Could the Mad Hatter ever have a quote on a NECA product? I feel like they wouldn't be caught dead with my name on their products, but who knows, okay? I'm just, I'm just a simple fan, I guess. But uh, yeah, you got all of the other uh, uh, pictures right here, and uh, they look all great. They look great. Obviously, this movie is very, very controversial, but uh, uh, they look fantastic. And wh why am I talking about the way they look in photos? When I got them right here, all we got to do, all that's separating me from looking at them is what we call the Super 7 slide. <laughs> We're just going to open this right here. Let's go ahead. Oh, my Lord. There you go. That's it. That's all it takes. That's all that separates me from greatness right here. And, uh, yeah, look at the – I'll try to get the glare out of here. Look at these turtles. Look at these samurai turtles. And uh, you got this nice kind of like – uh, what is that called? Uh, 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 yeah, like this sort of like Japanese home kind of uh, decor here. And uh, if you want to know just what the back is here, it's just uh, more photography. And then you got this uh, the sword right here. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and uh, stop talking about this. Let's open this up. I've been very excited. I've waited very patiently like a good little boy. And it is time to reap the rewards of STCC. We'll see you there. All right, here we go. Samurai Turtles. <laughs> Uh, I, I have to say right up front, I do love these. I still hate the movie, though. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe I got to watch it again. It's been, God, how many years? It's been a long time. I should, um, actually, I wanted to do something like that on the channel. Like maybe watch uh, just some of the uh, original Ninja Turtle films. Maybe I'll do that. But uh, I'll, I'll give this a rewatch. I've watched it a few times and I remember not loving it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's take a look at the faces here. Let's go some handheld action here so you got donatello there we go focus up and uh i will give them this they got the likenesses down on these guys if you look at the box i mean they um they nailed them man uh so you got Raphael with his almost looks like a frog face going on there and you get leo the fearless leader and then right here michelangelo he's got a smile because he's a party dude i love most about these though is the armor so let's go ahead and put this back on the uh tripod there oh so, um this pack uh was an sdcc pack you can also get it online it was 150 dollars. and i will say with all the stuff that he comes with and all the bonuses and everything and the four 1990 heads th these guys are worth it man i mean th there's a lot of stuff uh you get in this and uh whether you like the movie or not i think most people agree that this is sort of like like an iconic look and that's i, I think that's why uh the response to these has been so well i don't think people are like oh my god that was my favorite movie although some people do legitimately like the movie i'm gonna stop bagging on the movie okay I'll, i'm gonna rewatch that movie but all I'm saying is that, obviously, it's not the popularity of TMNT 1990, but uh, these costumes are great. Just to kind of show you just how intricate they are, uh, you can just take a look right here on the back. Just this detail on here. I mean, look at this. This pattern 
on there is just so cool. And then the front part of it and just the, 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 the armor detail and the paint that's like, um, or the, the, the patterns that are on top of the armor looks great. And the belt and these flaps right here that um, kind of are like soft plastic are really great. And then um, this right here, there's a lot of really, really good paint and like brushed paint, like even on the pants, like it's not just one thing of green. It's like brushed with like brown and everything. So there's a lot of really nice detailing um, uh, on these figures. Of course, the helmets do pop off. And um, I mean, just look at that. Look at the detail on there. Look again, it's like the pattern in there, bronze uh, type metal. NECA always really, really good with the, um, just with the textures and the paint and everything. These look great. These are amazing, amazing uh, helmets for, uh, for uh, samurais. Speaking of helmets, let's just go helmets off for a second and uh, you can see their heads. Now, um, I know people are mentioning if they can swap out uh, the 1990 heads, which I'm going to show in a second. Well, I'm going to show Raphael right here. Here's his 1990 head. Look at that. That is wild. <laughs> that looks so good, man. But um, people are asking if you can swap on the heads onto these if you wanted to. I think it might be too small. Actually, why am I thinking? Let's just do that. Actually, you know what? I take that back. The head uh, looks fine. Um, it's a little smaller than the, the regular TMNT3 head, but uh, turtles are sometimes portrayed with slightly smaller heads. So uh, I actually think it looks good. If you put the helmet on, the helmet might fit a little big um, or a little large and uh, it doesn't seem to, I mean, I tried this before, it doesn't seem to snap on as well, but um, I could definitely roll with this too and 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 be fine with it. It's, it's, uh, it's not as small as I thought it would be. So if you wanna go with these heads and you don't wanna put them on the 1990 bodies or maybe you don't have those bodies, you could, you could do it right here too. Let's just go through the accessories. So I already showed you uh, the Raphael head here, but uh, let's uh, show it to you again because it looks so cool. I mean, I, honestly, I can see people uh, uh, buying this pack and like selling this head and pretty much uh, 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 making up for the for the cost of the of the of the four pack if you didn't want these heads for whatever reason but uh, yeah they look great there's Donatello all, uh, all angry like with the gritted teeth love that then you get Leonardo this kind of reminds me of the head when like uh, <laughs> when or the face when Shredder uh, locked him down and uh, was uh, was about to stab him. Uh, so uh, if you want to recreate that, you can do that as well. Here's Michelangelo. Uh, this has to be the, um, he's about to attack the foot soldiers um, in the final scene face. I think it's that face. Uh, he's got his uh, his nunchucks ready to go, but I love these, man. Uh, I am, uh, and I, I think I'll pop them onto the 1990 figures at the end of the review and uh, do some pictures with them because uh, they just look so cool. Okay, and then let's talk about some hands because you get some hands. You get these... Uh, these uh, 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 palm hands right here. And um, I really love these, uh, the spikes on the back. They look really, really good. You get these hands right here. You get some pointy slash holding side hands as well. You get some fists. And then you get some uh, more grabby hands right here. Double nunchucks uh, with the, uh, uh, with the good wiring in the uh, in the middle right there. Get the two sides. Don't lose a side, okay? Because Splinter says that you gotta let it go. Your two katanas with the really nice metal and the sort of like like two tone look and the um, and the uh, nice weathering on the handle. Then you get the Donatello bow, which uh, looks a little lighter than uh, than the uh, standard 1990 bow. You get this uh, what is this called a rapier <laughs> with the with the gold and the uh, the silver, very very nice. And you also get uh, a second one, and this one has. Uh, this gold, it's like over the handle, so you can kind of like protect your protect your hands. NECA knows how to do metal, okay? <laughs> That's, uh, it's very metal of them, but uh, yeah, always, always really, really nice with this uh, kind of texturing. Then you get four of these, these masks, and I think I am going to display them with this because they look really cool. Um, they give them almost like a ghostly uh, look there. It's got... Uh, you know, the, I guess it kind of looks like a mustache and the little yeah, uh, uh, part right here that looks like a goatee. And um, this fits around really, really easy. And uh, it just makes them look very unique and very, just very different. I think they'll pop a lot more uh, with these rather than like standard turtle head. So I think I will be displaying all four of them with this. And this is such a cool detail. They gave you um, uh, the different lanterns right here, different stages. Uh, you get uh, this one, which is more like bronze and uh, the nice texture uh, here on the uh, 
on the handle part and like the uh, the faux glass is really cool. And then this one right here, a lot more evolved, but uh, still really cool. Uh, it's got the, the, the broken glass in there, which is a really nice touch. And um, yeah, just how it looks uh, all dirty and uh, antique-ish and like the writing on here is just so cool. These are just su such nice, uh, such nice accessories. And then finally this one right here, it's all pristine looking and like uh, a very, very shiny gold and the handle and the writing. And uh, yeah, these are, these are beautiful together. Um, I put these in my uh, in my Flipboard backpack because they just looked so expensive. And uh, I forgot to uh, mention, so these are the coats that you can get um, or that come with them. It comes with uh, four of these and uh, different ones have like different uh, 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 holes in the patterns in order to, uh, well, no, I think only Leonardo. So this is the regular one that seems to be on all of them. And then um, this one I think is for Leonardo so the uh, scabbers can go through, I think. And then uh, you get all of this, uh, these uh, nice patterns here, and there is a wiring um, on the uh, on the outer layer as well, so you can put these on your turtles and uh, just get some more some more texture there. Okay, you always want some more texture. But by the way, these belts here, um, they're really nice, but they're pretty functional because um, uh, the plastic is is soft and it can it can bend. So uh, this can act as a holster because um, other than Leonardo, there's no real holsters for weapons, but luckily these belts are malleable enough that you can just kind of slide slide these uh, these weapons in. So you could do the same for Raphael and Donatello, you could do it on the back, so yeah. Let's just quickly talk about articulation. There's not that much to speak of. Uh, so we'll use Raphael here, looks up that much, looks down that much, uh, pretty good side to side. Uh, the, um, the, uh, uh, the bandana part does come off, by the way, uh, for just ease of use. Shoulders go out that much, and then pretty good bend on the elbow here, okay? It's a little more than 90 degrees. You get the, uh, the spin right there and the hinge. A rotation um, below the waist right here. The thighs do go out that much, okay? Can he ride a horse? I mean, look at that. If you, if you can do splits like that, you can ride any horse, so uh, you're good with that. There's not a lot of bend on the knee. You get about that much because these pants, these uh, hammer pants are just, uh, they just restrict it, but uh, you do get a nice rock in the ankle and the ballerina and, and all that. And here's all the boys together with the new fighting head. So you got the samurai turtles right here masks on ready for battle and then right here also ready for battle the 1990 turtles and uh obviously they're not really posed up i kind of have to squeeze them in here i mean they're kind of posed up but uh, look at Raphael; he's fucking ready michelangelo loves being a turtle remember that and uh yeah this uh, <laughs> I, I love this leonardo face these are uh i i hate to say it but if you want to pose the 1990 turtles in like real fighting poses I mean, maybe this is a necessity. I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you might need to get these. Right, and uh, this is how I got to end it off because this is how it's going to be displayed. <laughs> uh, if you uh, are wondering what these horses are, they are Mythic Legion horses. Um, I did a whole video on which horses you can uh, get, and I uh, compared a few other ones like Figma and... Um, uh, the McFarlane horse. Cough, cough, don't get the McFarlane horse. But uh, yeah, these guys look amazing on the horses and this is uh, going to be my display, okay? <laughs> it's uh, it's quite expensive if you calculate all this, but uh, I always wanted this, okay? As soon as they announced the uh, the turtles, the, the, that they're doing um, uh, Ninja Turtles 3 figures, I was like, I, I got to have this somewhere. So this is going to be very prominent uh, in, in, uh, in my display. I don't even know where this fucking goes, but it's going to go somewhere. Yeah, these fit pretty flush, by the way. So you got Raphael here. Uh, I don't even remember if he had the the, uh, the rapier sword in, in the movie, but he's got it now because he's a samurai. And he's pointing off into the distance like, let's get him, guys. And then you got Leonardo and he's all holstered up looking like a badass. Donatello, I, I figured I'll give him the lantern because, you know, he... he I don't know, does machines, and maybe by extension, he does lanterns. And then uh, Michelangelo, he's having a hard time keeping his helmet on. He's like, whoa, and I gave him the sword too. Why not? And uh, yeah, honestly, I this uh, completes it for me for TMNT3. I really don't need them to make, I don't think, anything else from that movie. I don't think I do. Uh, I, th this seems like it's it's fine. Uh, to me, the movie is about the, uh, the samurais. Uh, if you want these, I mean, I think at this point eBay is the only way because, um, you know, they had these at SDCC and they sold them online. I don't see them separating these into two packs and going to Walmart, but I don't know. Maybe if these do really well, maybe. I just, it's it's more of a niche movie. But uh, yeah, uh, if you want them, I don't know. eBay's probably not that marked up. 
or uh, see if anybody wants to trade on Party Wagon or, or something like that. But uh, I am loving these. I am loving them on their horses. And uh, that's it. They're going to go right off into the sunset now, as am I. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like. See you next time. Bye-bye.